Number 1 Place Stanislas At the heart of Nancy's Villeneuve, the UNESCO-listed Place Stanislas is one of the most striking squares in Europe. Originally called the Place Royale, the Place Stanislas was mainly built by Emmanuel here between 1752 and 1760. The pedestrian-only square is encircled by five elegant palaces, designed in classical French style, with opulent balconies and balustrades. Number 2 Musée Lorraine Just steps away from the Place Stanislas in the Villevier is the former Palais de Ducs de Lorraine, Ducal Palace, dating to the end of the 15th century, the late Gothic to early Renaissance period. This grandiose palace exemplifies richly decorated flamboyant style with its ornate balconies and doorway. Number 3 Musée de Beaux-Arts de Nancy on the Place Stanislas, the Musée de Beaux-Arts de Nancy presents a superb collection of European paintings from the 14th to the 21st centuries. The museum was created in 1793 during the French Revolution, when the church property of France was confiscated. Therefore artworks seized from France's churches formed the museum's early collection. Number 4 Musée de la Colle de Nancy the Musée de la Colle de Nancy is a one-of-a-kind museum housed in the Villa Majorelle, a lovely house built in the early 1900s for the artist Louis Majorelle. Listed as a historic monument, the Villa Majorelle was the first example of an Art Nouveau house in Nancy. Number 5 Old Town The quaint old town, Villevier, of Nancy is north of the Villeneuve, New Town, roughly bordered by the town's three main traffic arteries, Rue Saint-Dizier, Rue Saint-Georges, and Rue Saint-Jean. On the Rue Saint-Georges, the city's 18th-century cathedral Notre Dame de l'Annonciation has a gorgeous domed Baroque interior. Number 6 Église de Cordeliers In the Villevier just beyond the Ducal Palace is the 15th-century Église de Cordeliers. It takes its name from the Franciscan Order, which required monks to wear a cord around their waist. There are also tombs of famous kings of France. Number 7 Place de la Carrière and Place de Alliance Along with the Place Stanislas, both the Place de la Carrière and Place de Alliance are designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These public squares epitomize the elegance and refinement that distinguishes Nancy. The Place de la Carrière was created in the 16th century as a square for jousting tournaments and equestrian games. Number 8 Basilique saint epvre Another interesting site in the Villevier, the Basilique saint epvre is a Gothic revival church built in the 19th century. Napoleon III, Pope Pius, Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria, and King Ludwig II of Bavaria endowed the church with its riches, including vibrant stained glass windows and paving in the choir made of stones that came from the Appian Way. Number 9 Parc de la Pépinière Pépinière Park was created on the site of the historic Duke's Gardens and has strong ties to the city's heritage. The park is just a few steps away from Nancy's UNESCO-listed squares, the Place Stanislas and the Place de la Carrière. Number 10 Église Notre-Dame de Bonsecours This small but richly decorated church is a veritable jewel box. The lavish Baroque interior contains the tomb of Stanislas Leszczynski and the mausoleum of his wife Katharina Opolinska. Also called the Church of Our Lady of Victory and the Kings, the Église Notre-Dame de Bonsecours was used as a burial site after the Battle of Nancy in 1477. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.